Hi guys, I'm Coach Todd, head coach in Olympics Triathlon.com. Tomorrow is the Banff Triathlon, and today is uh, I went for a swim in the lake with a couple of athletes. Now the biggest uh, biggest question I get from a lot of people doing Banff Triathlon is how cold is it, and what can I do to prepare for the cold? Uh, so I'm going to make this video try to do it really super duper quick. Uh, the first thing, uh, the temperature of the lake in Banff is going to be 13 degrees. 13 degrees is pretty chilly. So what I recommend you to do is I'm going to give you two strategies for actually getting into the water before you start. Now if you're an experienced swimmer and have been uh, exposed to cold water, this may not be that bad to you at all. But if you're a person who has not been done a lot of lake swimming at all, or cold water, then you're going to have to go with the first strategy, which is this. I want you to go into the water. And I want you to completely dunk yourself, right? So that the water goes in your wetsuit, goes into your body, and it goes, covers your head, and you're gonna go, in, go into a bit of a, a shock. And it's gonna take a while for your breathing to get under control, which is okay, so you're just, you're just try, trying to acclimatize to the cold weather. So that's what I want you to do if you're a beginner. Now I want you to time, time the time that you go into the water very close to the start of your heat. So if you're gonna, say if you're gonna start at 9.05, you know your gun's gonna go at 9.05, Try and get into the water at like, you know, nine o'clock so that you can be in the water, spend a couple minutes getting your body acclimatized to it. So then when you come out, you have like only a minute or two before the gun goes off. If that's not possible, go in and get warmed up, which is actually cooling down, but come out and just keep your body moving so that you can stay warm. Now I'm not going to do that because I, I, uh, I'm a little bit more experienced with uh, cold water and lake swimming. So if you're experienced with lake swimming and cold water, this is another strategy you can do. Don't dunk yourself at all. Go up to your waist water, or sorry, waist deep water, because it is a deep water start, or a waist level start. And then what you do is when the gun goes off, you just dive on in and keep on going. So the biggest thing that I found that how I deal with this though, is I exhale through my nose and my mouth really strong when I first go into the water. So right when I'm submerging my head under the water, I exhale right away, and that helps me with the shock. And you're gonna, for sure, you're gonna feel the shock. And start off slow, don't start off too fast. So say if you start off normally at 85%, start off at 70%, because your breathing is gonna be a little bit different. So you have to get your breathing under control, and know that's gonna happen, but just keep moving. And make sure you get a good uh, a breath in when you turn to the side, and then exhale underwater. Try and calm yourself down as much as possible. And just know that your stroke is going to be slow. Your speed is going to be slow, and just go with it. So you can either do the first strategy, dunking yourself, which I highly recommend for most people, or you can do the second one, don't, don't uh, submerge yourself at all. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll let you know, or if you're out there, you can ask me, how did it go, Todd, after the race? Okay, the second one, the second thing I want you to do, if you look at this video here, this is what I wore this morning in a lake. So I wore a tight fitting wetsuit. I double capped with a swim cap, so I had two silicon caps. And normally when I'm swimming with a swim cap, I like my ears exposed, just how I like it. But today I put uh, the, the top cap over my ears just to kind of protect my ears a bit. And that worked well too. So if you're gonna, I recommend wearing two swim caps. Now the race is gonna give you one swim cap, so bring an extra one. And if you have a neoprene swim cap, wear that one. If you have a silicon, wear the silicon. Not those little, the thin latex ones. Use the, the thicker silicon or the neoprene. For me, I don't like the chin strap around the neoprene cap, so I'm going to use uh, the silicon cap. Okay, so double, double wrap your head. Okay, what else do we got? Okay, so I also wore gloves and booties. So I'm covering up my hands, I'm covering up my feet. Water's gonna go in your hands, water's gonna go in, well, water's gonna go inside your gloves and inside the booties, but the water stays there. It's gonna get warmed up by your body, so it's, it's not too bad. So I highly recommend if you don't have those, head on down and try it and pick some up. They have some on sale. Uh, but if you, if you don't have them, you can also put a little bit of Vaseline on your hands and that can keep your, uh, the heat in your body as well. So I highly recommend gloves or booties. The last tip I'm going to give you, and this is, this is not for the, the faint of heart. The last tip is this. Some people, you, are, you already know what I'm going to say. You're going to pee in your wetsuit. Now, I don't recommend this to everybody, but if the water is really cold and you want to warm yourself up, you can pee in your wetsuit. It's kind of gross, for sure. And afterwards, make sure you rinse out your wetsuit and uh, get, in, get out of your clothes and put in some nice, fresh clothes after the race. 
So that's it guys, those are some quick uh, BAMF swim tips. And so I highly recommend, you gotta wear a wetsuit, double wrap your head, gloves, booties, cover your ears. Uh, what else did I say? Pee in your wetsuit if you want to. I'm probably not gonna pee my wetsuit. I'm pretty proud that I haven't really peed in my wetsuit all summer. So it's kind of a, a streak that I've been on, I wanna keep, keep it going. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful uh, race tomorrow. It looks like a beautiful day. And that's it guys, happy training.